Hey guys, it's me, X Mr. Cheese X, and welcome back to more of Pokemon Red. Last time, we gone right ahead and got them the Soul Badge from Koga. And in this part, we're gonna go right ahead into this house, the Safari Zone Warden's Home. Well, let's see what this has for us. We'll take a look, there's this boulder to move. By the way, it's a rare candy there. Or probably something else, I'm not quite sure. Take a look right here. Old Pokemon Merchandise! Pokemon photos and fossils. He's a fossil collector. And let's talk to the Warden himself. Oh, my ball! Phoebe! A boy! Oh, he! We? Yes. Oh, he oh, even I. He, oh, what? Uh, no. Oh, he oh, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea. He's weird. He's weird. He's weird. He's weird. I'm gonna ignore him because he's weird. Now, what we're really gonna do is go to the Safari Zone. The Pokemon Paradise. Now let me tell you about... Ooh, I accidentally gone right in here. Is there anything in particular? No, just a picture on the wall. Okay, I went into the wrong building. That was a zookeeper's place. What we're actually going to be doing, if I can actually find the right building, uh, looks like we're gonna have to use cut to get there. We're actually gonna go right into this building. Safari game. Pokemon you catch. Eh. Anyways, this is the Safari Zone. Uh, sure. Safari Zone has four zones in it. Each zone has different kinds of Pokemon. Use Safari Balls to catch them. When you run out of time with Safari Ball, it's game over for you. Before you go, open an unused Pokemon box so there would be room for new Pokemon. I'm not gonna catch any Pokemon here at all. Basically what he's saying is that you go into the Safari Zone and instead of using your own Pokemon to battle wild Pokemon, you're actually going to be your own... You cannot use your own Pokemon. You're gonna have to use your own skill. You're basically gonna be throwing rocks and bait at Pokemon trying to change their stats. So the Pokemon would either not run away or be easier to catch. And you cannot use normal Pokeballs, you can only use these Safari Balls. And also you have a limited amount of steps. So, let's go right ahead. Welcome to the Safari Zone! Just for $500, well, Pokedollars, you can catch all the Pokemon you want in the park. Would you like to join the hunt? Yeah! Let's join the hunt! I like the scent of skunk. It reminds me of the hunt. Yeah, I love Fairy Odd Parents. It was a pretty good show. So basically, yeah, you're, it's required to go in here, so if you have money problems, which most likely you wouldn't unless you've been buying a F-ton of items and using them all up, this would be a you will not be able to complete the game without coming through here so i'm just gonna show off the, off the shortest route by the way there is a rest house here where you can go ahead and meet sarah who tells you hey i thought era told me to go here you can't do really anything else so i'm just gonna go right ahead stop my talking and go right ahead and show you the shortest route here you again you have to do this in order to complete the game that would be 500 Poke Dollars, please. We only use special Poke Ball here. And receive 30 Safari Balls. Run out of the, these or run out of limited steps and you'll have to return to the entrance. Which does um, leave a few glitches in here, but other than that... I forgot, I think it has something to do with flying or teleporting, but where you end up getting graphical glitches all over the place. But anyways, 
We'll call you uh, on the PA when you run out of time or safari balls. What is a PA anyways? So here it is, the safari zone. I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up. You can go ahead and start to see the remaining amount of steps. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up and show you the fastest route. Alright, I'll see you there. Oh, by the way, this is the example of battles. I'm just gonna keep on running from them. Alright, see you guys then. Alright, right here is the item you I need to get. Found the gold teeth. And this sign will say request notice find the Safari Rodin's lost gold teeth. That is why he cannot talk. By the way, I kind of feel like this is a reference to Mother 2 because there's a point in that game where they're around here somewhere. We borrowed after contact warden. Yeah, it's a reference to Mother 2 where this guy loses his gold teeth. You eventually find it right by this sign where it where he asks for it and then he just gives you a bunch of mouthwash for some reason. Just a reference to Mother 1, by the way. And this is the other place where we need to go to. Ah, oh, finally, you're the first person to reach the secret house. I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won. And we re received the HMO3, HM which is Surf, which is a required TM. Your Pokemon will be able to ferry you across the water, and this HM isn't disposable. You can use it over and over again. You're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize. It's fabulous! Okay, is there a way that I can quit this area? No. Well, I only have 147 steps, so... I guess I'm going to cut it to when they ask for the PA. Anyways... These are the two items that you want. The gold teeth and HMO3. And there are a few items that I missed, but I don't really care about them. I got in a full restore, which fully restores your um, health and gets rid of your status inflictment. But it does not restore power points, so this is practically a lie. The full restore is a lie! Anyways, I'm gonna be cutting it till we get back to the warden's place, alright? See you guys then. Or until this happens. Ding dong! Time's up! Your survivor game is over. Did you get a good haul? Come back again. Well, I did not get a good haul because I did not really want a good haul. Haul them over, all your Pokemon. Yeah. 
What's the, what they mean by opening up a new box on your PC is basically in the first games of Pokemon, Pokemon are not automatically transferred to a new box, which becomes very annoying. Also, when you transfer to a new box, you're gonna have to save the game. I think that's because the Game Boy cannot contain as much data as the... as much to data to hold, open up two boxes at the same time, so you can't really do too much. Anyways, hey, I brought you some teeth. Gave the gold teeth to the warden. The warden popped it in his teeth. Wait! Oh, popped in his teeth. Sorry, I misread that. Thanks, Fred. No one could understand the word that I said. I couldn't have worked that way. Let me give you something for your trouble. By the way, how could you lose gold teeth? I mean, why would you take them out? Unless you coughed and you dropped them on the ground, in which case, come on, they're right by your feet. Just pick them up. Okay, Ancient World 4 teaches strength. It lets Pokemon move boulders when you're outside of battle. Oh yes, you're to find the secret house of the forest zone. If you do, you win an Asham. And here is the rare surf Asham. Yeah, well, I already gotten that, so... There we go. Also, let's see what Pokemon should... Learn strength and surf. First... Let's try strength. No wait, that's surf. Here's strength. No, that's surf. No. I was right the first time. Okay, here's strength. Alright, we can teach it to pol either poly or lax. So, hold on. I'm gonna do something real quick so I can determine which one to give it to, alright? Because I'm having the which one, which one, which one, which one moment again. So hold on. Alright, I got right ahead and got them rid of Body Slam for Strength. And for Surf. Lax can also learn Surf, apparently. I don't know how that works. works. I mean, I would think that his body composition would sink, but... Well, maybe he can be buoyant. Depends on how thick, well, how dense his fat is. But let's go right ahead and teach it to Polly. And Polly is going to learn Surf. So what should it learn? Bubble, Hypnosis, Water Gun, or Double Slap? Okay, hold on one more second, guys. I need to determine which uh, move I should delete. Okay, I got them Polly to delete Hypnosis and learn Surf. I swear, when the less player himself is looking up a walkthrough, you know he's a terrible less player. Actually, really, I'm just looking up a guide on which which move is better to delete Bubble or Bubble or Hypnosis and then I found he probably is probably going to learn a bubble, better move um, later on so let's just get on uh, get rid of Hypnosis and replace Water Gun for the better move because I want to keep Double Slap and well let's see Double Slap and no I don't want to surf yeah I want to keep Double Slap and Water Gun, so there we go, he learns Surf and Bubble. Nice. So everyone except for V now has an HM. Well, V and Pika. So, that's really all I will ever wanted to get on. I guess I'm gonna go right to the Pokemon Center and deposit a few items. Because I have nothing else to do. So, how were you got? How are you guys doing? Are you guys doing all right? Not much really has been happening lately. I've been watching Chugga Conroy's Let's Play of Epic Yarn, which seems to be uh, doing pretty good. Pretty good. 
I've also been watching Third of Clubs, Let's Play of Mother 2, and I've been thinking, you know what? How about in the future I'll start doing the Mother series? I'm mainly, I'm mainly planning to do at least Mother 1 and Mother 2. I might do Mother 3. But yeah, you guys know that I'm gonna be doing the Mother series now. And I gotta tell you, Mother series is actually one of my favorite video game series of all time. If you do not know, it's an RPG. But a very good RPG, I mean... Well, you'll see for yourself when I let's play it. Let's play Mother and Mother 2, but if you know what I mean. So, I'm just gonna... I don't know why I'm showing this off. I guess I just wanted to talk about how great the Mother series are and what I'm planning to do for an LP. Just future LPs, I am planning to do Mother 1 and Mother 2, like... There I go, I just gone right ahead and repeat myself. Now, there's not a whole lot that I did here, except for learning all the HMs. So, really, there's only a few things left that I want to do. Well, there's two things that we can do. I remember that when I first played this game, I actually defeated Gym Leader number 7 before I defeated Gym Leader number 6. And I'm wondering, should I go right ahead and show off me fighting number 7 before number 6? I'm gonna have to think about that, uh, because this is probably gonna be the last video I'm recording for today, alright? So, yeah, <laughs> didn't do much except for gone through the Safari Zone, taught Polly Surf, and lacked strength. Actually, no, I forgot then one more thing I could do. I could go right back to the Warden's house. And go right ahead and use strength. This requires strength to move. Well, let's go right ahead and use strength then. It can move boulders now. And this is... This is a rare candy. You know what would be a very mean hack? If they put this boulder right here, and right behind this was actually the move strength. It'd be... Actually, you can never go through this game without learning strength. It, because all the HMs except for fly and flesh are required. But other than that, all the a HMs are required. But if you manage to make a hack where you remove all the instances where um, strength is required and well you can go right ahead and replace that rare candy with strength it would actually be pretty funny pretty funny what am I re rambling about because I'm just rambling about random things because I have nothing else to say oh jeez I'm just a rambler Rambler, 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 Gambler. No, I am not gambling. I'm, uh, I'm underage anyways. I'm only 17 years old. Although, I bet you guys don't even know that. I'm 17, well, 16 going on 17 by next month. So, what are you guys looking forward to Christmas? I, I gotta start up. Stop talking because it's already going on, going on 20 minutes now. So that's it for this part of Pokemon Red. It's a very boring part. I kind of apologize, but I guess I'll see you guys next time when I'll determine if I'm going to Cinnabar or Saffron. See you guys then.